hi guys welcome to simplifying tech and programming so in today's session we are going to check like how we can connect mysql from vs code so imagine like uh, from the id itself if you can able to visualize the sql data then additionally you don't need to connect to mysql workbench or any sql client in order to visualize your data or in order to see the data patterns from the ui or from the command line so uh, vs code or visual studio code itself can provide uh, one extension by using that uh, we can able to uh, connect to mysql database and uh, visualize your data from vs code id itself so we are going to check that and also we are going to check like uh, how we can create the user and how we can set the privileges uh, particular uh, access or authorization to particular that particular user uh, into database okay so let's start now if you are new to mysql and vs code uh, so you can check the videos in the description so that like uh, you can able to install mysql and vs code latest versions on your windows machine so let's start with the uh, vs code so let's open the vs code okay so our vs code is here so go to this extensions tab okay and uh, we want to connect with mysql so type mysql here okay so this one is the first link uh, which has 1 million downloads so click on this okay so you can able to see this uh, extension so we need to uh, install this extension mysql management tool so that like uh, we can able to connect with mysql so you can see the features like uh, manage mysql connections list mysql servers database query and etc so you can able to uh, explore this okay so let's say install okay so our mysql extension is installed now so let's verify it go to this explorer tab control shift e and if you can able to see the mysql is listed here so that like our extension is installed so it cannot show anything so click on this uh, plus icon so give the host name as a local host so enter then uh, give the user so our default user is root let's try with the user root first okay give password for root user and let's say enter it is asking for default port so 3306 is the default port let's say enter so if you have a certificate in order to connect then you can give the certificate otherwise you can just click enter okay so our host is created let's expand this oh oh so it is giving one uh, error so error not supported auth mode client does not support authentication protocol requested by server considering upgrade mysql client so why this error is coming because uh, the root users is a default user uh, so it does not have privileges in order to connect with mysql so in this case we need to create another user and we need to add that user okay so for this uh, we need to create a user so there are two ways to create the user in mysql so one is like uh, you can connect via mysql workbench and another one you can connect uh, you can create via like a uh, command line also mysql command line so first way we will explore first like uh, mysql workbench go to mysql workbench okay so this is mysql workbench i have uh, this uh, root user login so double click on root user login okay so i have like uh, this schema so just you need to go to server and users and privileges so click on this so currently i have this root user only uh, so we, if you want to add the user then say like let's say this add account so click on this add account so it is asking for login name let's say username as a mysql user then uh, authentication type standard password so host is local host and give password to mysql user and let's say apply so mysql user is created but we we need to provide privileges to that particular user so go to this uh, administrative tools tab in the same and uh, give the most privileges that is a dba for now uh, we will provide the dba which has the 
global privileges having all the privileges to apply onto the particular SQL query or particular SQL operation okay let's say apply okay so our my SQL user is created now let's verify this so from from the workbench only you can verify so like uh, here you can add this connection okay my SQL user and let's say password as a stored in the vault test connection okay so we have success let's say okay okay so our mysql user is successfully connected so now another way to uh, create the user is like uh, go to mysql uh, command line okay so this is the like mysql command line tool so go here enter so by default it is a root user so enter the password for root user okay so it is uh, went inside so we have three st common steps like uh, suppose for example this uh, create user step so our user is created now we will provide the privileges okay so so privileges add privileges so it is added now let's save the privileges okay so our new user is created now let's verify if it is created so let's say refresh go to server and users and privileges so you can see our new user is also created from the command line okay so now uh, let's go to vs code again okay so remove this connection delete connection so we have created one new user so we will try to log in with new user so let's say it's a local host again user uh, give as a like uh, my sql user give the password default port is 3306 enter certificate is optional okay so our local host is connected okay so now let's verify it so you can see this type of like uh, schema is present into local host so so now like uh, if you want to create new schema so right click on this and say new query okay so let's create new schema create database let's say person or let's say customer customers okay so just right click on this and say execute run mysql query yeah so our finished mysql query so it is created now so now here you can see i need to refresh this okay so our customers is created now let's execute some ddl commands say new query on customers so i have uh, some sample queries so let's create the table called as customers okay so this is simple uh, create table command so right click on this and run mysql command okay so our uh, table is created let's insert data also and then we will verify okay so this is like insert command in order to insert some sample data execute this okay so this is also uh, like executed so now let's do the select query select star from customers okay and let's say semicolon and right click run my sql query okay so like here we can able to visualize our data from database so our select query is successful like uh, we have added uh, this uh, customer name like cardinal tom uh, erickson and this this data is visible now 
so this way like uh, we can able to connect uh, mysql from vs code let's verify in workbench also if it is created uh, as per desire so if you can see it is created uh, customers let's expand this uh, so a customer's table is also created let's check what is the data here yeah so like select star from customers and we have data which we have inserted so like this way like we can able to uh, connect with the mysql database from vs code by using mysql extension and like uh, we can able to like uh, create the user and add privileges to the user particular user and that we can able to connect from vs code so stay tuned for further interesting sessions thanks a lot for watching Thank you.